Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought today we'd take a look at the inside of one of these disposable vape pens and see how they work. They all look pretty much the same. I mean, occasionally you can get one of these that's round, but they're all like a, uh, you know, flat, skinny profile. Kind of about the size of an old school pack of gum, maybe a little bit longer. And they contain, you know, everything is needed. And there are no external controls. So here we grab one and see if we can see what's inside of it. There has to be a battery. And then there is the uh, tank for the vaping fluid. And there has to be some sort of a control in order to operate the thing, right? Hmm. I know this will come off. One second. There we go. So this piece, as you can see, is nothing but just a clear plastic mouthpiece. And now we're first getting to the inside here. Zoom in a little bit. And we can have a look here. Looks to be some sort of probably like a silicon membrane or something. And this lines up with the uh, the mouthpiece. So this is obviously where the fluid's coming out. And there's something solid inside of there. Oh, there's the gumminess. All right, so let's see if we can... Okay, so that is the cap of the fluid tube. Because that's what we're seeing now is that empty fluid tube there. Now that appears to be pressed in there. So I'm wondering if I got something. Can I press it out? One second. Having trouble getting this one out. You can hear. This is metal. If you look there. You can see there's definitely two pieces there. Hmm. So maybe you want to come out this way. Yep, there we go. Well, there's the tank anyway. Plastic. And right there, you can see the ceramic heating unit. So that means we still have the battery. And the charging circuitry in here. Trying to see if I can figure out how to get them out. One second. This thing is really packed in there. As you can see, I got at least as far as getting the battery to move forward a little bit. trying to get it out also trying very hard not to puncture the battery yeah, a few good wax here and there and it's starting to come out not quite Ooh, down to the end of that one I'm gonna need a bigger one do it and we got her out so uh yeah kind of killed that usb charging port there but hey 
that was the price for getting everything out here is the magic of the device underneath everything clear at the bottom is the microphone man that does not want to come out of there there we go that's just plastic so we've got our little USB you know input there and it's going through this which is basically a microphone but it's set up to run as a pressure sensor and that feeds our battery which is uh, 280 milliamp hours 3.7 volts very interesting and there is no charging circuitry on this board at all this is simply a USB going to the pressure sensor going to this battery so the ch any uh, yeah, any protection would have to be living on here is that what this is this protection board no that's that's just a spacer okay wow that's kind of scary there's no uh, there's no protection built into that and even though that's just a little battery that can still hold a lot of electricity a lot of charge so be very careful with anything like that if you decide to take them apart. Anyway, I just wanted to have a look and see what was inside. I thought you guys might enjoy it too. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.